What's going on everybody? We're back in the workshop again tonight. And we're here to talk about a simple thing, but everybody needs to do it. And you need to do it a ton of times. And what I'm talking about is cleaning and servicing your chain. Because what I've got going on right now is I had a big ride over the weekend. And I don't know if you can hear this from the microphone, but my chain sounds terrible. It's like a grinding sound. So what we're gonna do today is three simple ways to go and clean your chain from easy, quick, right before a ride to the full take it all off and clean everything that would touch your chain. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the first one. This is the easiest one. You can do this right before you go for a ride, right when you get back for that matter. And all you're gonna need is some uh, shop rags or paper towels and uh, bike chain lube. And so I use the finish line dry because I went to a bike shop one time and here in Utah it's super dry and dusty. And the guy said, hey, use this one because you'll come home with less of the mountain on your chain. And ever since then, I couldn't agree more. Uh, there's plenty of other options out there depending on where you live. So for the simple one, all you're gonna end up doing is start dropping the chain lube on the chain and start pedaling it forward or backwards. I just usually go backwards because I don't have to worry about a flying wheel here. And then once the chain is sufficiently lubed up and it's pretty wet everywhere, once your chain's sufficiently lubed, you're gonna take your shop rag and you're gonna wrap it around the chain. And then you start pedaling it forward or backwards, whatever you prefer. And then you're gonna notice very quickly and you're gonna notice very quickly, just a few pedals, you can see how dirty the rag is. And you know, the more you do this, you'll see the more come off. And I'll be honest, this rag isn't that dirty. I expected way more grease to be coming off of it. I maintain it a lot, but to be honest, for how noisy and difficult it was to pedal, I think I have some more problems. So normally that's all you have to do, and you can just do that before and after, and you can solve most of your chain problems just doing this method. Uh, but I think we're gonna need to go a little bit further. So we'll jump into step two. Okay, for option two here, it's a little bit more intensive. You definitely can't just do this right before you leave, is get one of these little chain washing machines, I don't know, and then some bike chain degreaser. You can use different stuff here. Uh, to be honest, you can use Dawn soap because that's a degreaser. I was in a bike shop one time and the guy actually told me not to buy this stuff and he actually just recommended using Dawn or whatever the degreasing soap is. And then this is a part of a whole bike washing kit I got off like Amazon for 20 bucks and it's best 20 bucks I've ever spent. What you end up doing is fill this little uh, container here with a, your degreaser and soap and then you're gonna end up running the chain through it. Um, and it just has a bunch of little scrubby wheels in here. So let's check it out. Once you do that for a couple minutes, you'll see all the dirt really coming to the surface on the chain. And look at this. You know, it's much darker. Um, not just this one section. I found this actually cleans the chain pretty well, um, despite me hating most bike tools. And uh, so we'll see how this does when I start pedaling it again. See if I still get that terrible noise I had. Well, I'd say this was a success. Look how dirty this, uh, it's like black. So definitely got some good amount of stuff off the chain. Let's check it out now. Don't forget, after you clean your chain with whatever degree, degreaser or soap you use, it's fine to just spin it in the shop, but make sure you put some uh, bike chain lube back on before you go for a ride. Otherwise, this thing will have no grease on it and it'll actually do very poorly out on the trail, despite it looking clean. Okay, I am still getting a, like a lot of grinding. I can definitely hear it up at the front chain ring, and I can definitely hear a ton back here. So that means neither of the first two options that are much quicker are gonna work. So we have to go on to the third step, which is to take the wheel off, take the chain off, and start going through all the jockey wheels and cleaning the front chain ring and cleaning the cassette. And I think that should clear up my drivetrain issues, but hey, you never know until you start digging through it, right? All right, I gotta start by first taking the wheel off, which means I gotta go shift down to my smallest gear, my 12th gear, uh, so it makes it easier. The derailleur, when you take it off, everything just comes off a lot easier.
whenever I take the wheel off, it's always good to put the derailleur in the full extended position using the locking so it's easier to access and really can get it around everything. Once you got your wheel off, next step for me is to get the chain off and that's then you're gonna to wanna to find the power link or the, the quick link and remove it. If you don't know how to do that, I actually have a great video uh, explaining how to do that, uh, especially if you don't have a fancy tool. Voila. So take it apart, be sure not to lose that quick link. And a lot of times I'll like take the chain off and let it soak in a degreaser or a soap while I work on the rest of the bike just to make sure I cleaned it really thoroughly. After the chain's off, get your favorite bucket and scrub brush. Like I said, this is a part of that $20 kit I got on Amazon. A bunch of brushes and some soft but wiry firm brushes. And then we'll just go and hit the jockey wheels and the front chain ring and uh, hopefully that'll do the job. Another even smaller wire brush to really get into each chain ring. And don't forget to get behind the crank because that's the hardest one to clean, so it normally gets neglected the most. All right, we're gonna do the same thing up here, the jockey wheels. Just get in there and clean as best you can. And note, jockey wheels should spin really freely, so you should be able to flick them and they should be able to spin. Um, if they don't, sort of like this one, you know you really gotta get in there. So I actually ended up taking this rear jockey wheel off because it is actually really gritty and grindy. Uh, and then when I took the little covers off, you could really see a lot of buildup behind them. Um, so we're just gonna try to clean these out best we can and then throw them back on there. And hopefully that uh, aids in the efficiency of my chain. So I just ended up scrubbing that bearing, uh, just cleaning it off and then just put a little dab of grease behind it before I put the, uh, the covers on it and reinstalling it. Is it free spinning? No. Actually, not even sure if it was supposed to be free spinning in comparison to the lower jockey wheel, but it's uh, at least not as just, uh, gritty. Okay, now that the derailleur and the front chain ring are all set, we're just gonna go put the chain back on and hopefully this issue is done. Okay, you know how I said I usually put my chain in a bucket of soapy water and, or the degreaser? And so, mind you, this chain has been clean now as you watch me a couple times for a few minutes. It's a, uh, a black pool. So your chain can always get cleaner. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna put the chain back on. And then to be honest, I usually don't worry too much about getting it all around the front chain ring because I can just slide it around afterwards. All right, so now I just gotta put the chain back on. And uh, just the key thing, so you don't forget, is you gotta slot it around this one little piece inside the derailleur before you go around the bottom. Otherwise you will have a Chain that won't go through your derailleur. And then last but not least, make sure you clean your cassette because this thing is getting caked with dirt all day on your ride. So this could be the number one cause and we could have just been here the first time. But yeah, don't forget to clean your cassette. To make sure it's freely spinning. It sounds like it should. So we'll give it a few cranks and see what it does. Fingers crossed. Oh man. So I'm a dumbass. Didn't run the chain right through the chain stay, which happens way too often. Uh, make sure you run the chain through the chain stay and then you'll be all set to ride. So I'm just gonna quickly reverse the power link and then uh, the drivetrain is now ready to go. So. so like I said, I can usually give it one good crank and that usually set the power link. If not, when I get back from the bike, it will. Now with that issue fixed, it's time to give the drivetrain a little test. Let's see if we can still hear that grinding sound.
All right, I think we fixed it. The uh, grinding sound that I don't know if I ever picked up on the audio, I can't hear it anymore, so that's fantastic. So it, so this issue required a deep clean, but 99% of the times it usually just requires one of the first two, and that's just a quick thing you can do before you head out for a ride. So I hope you learned something here today. If not, let me know something in the comments. But yeah, it's always a good time working on my bike, so I'll never complain about that. All right, until next time, stay tuned for some other tips, tricks, and other tutorials on how to work on your bike from here in the workshop. So, all right, until next time, see ya.